is Sohel Agazadeh and I have a pleasure presenting Microsoft Dynamics X 2012R2 in regard to the finance area, finance 1, 2 and fixed asset. What we do, we actually create a fictitious business company and we go through a series of different case studies uh, starting by modeling the organization within a company, assuming that you're purchasing a brand new company and you're setting up that company, creating a hierarchy for it and assigning different departments and cost center that are all hands-on and based on a demonstration, which you do also have the experience. Uh, by the time I do the demo, you do it with me or perhaps you do it later. Later on, we go and discuss how to set up the finance and general ledger section of it, setting up the bank module, how to set up customer and vendors, and dealing with daily procedures in regard to the general ledger, accounts payable and receivable. We discuss financial allocations, budgets, and cash flow. Later, we talk about intercompany accounting, but in other different segments of training, we discuss intercompany chain order in uh, supply chain training. We have a separate session in regard to the fixed asset. You learn how to basically set up a fixed asset, how to do acquisition, multiple acquisition, depreciation, and do the analysis against it. So uh, starting with our session today, we are focusing on modeling organization, which consists of three different segments. As you already see, my uh, screen is shared. Uh, and the way that we are actually start doing the lecture is by actually doing the demonstration at the same time. So I'm actually launching Dynamics X 2012R2 and everybody should have access to this uh, specific lab environment. You are more than welcome to follow with me or I would recommend if you feel that you better watch me and do it later based on the case study you could do so as well. I like to uh, spend a few minutes first and discuss the environment for a few minutes uh, because some of you probably don't have much experience with the interface and some of you do. I like to make sure that everybody in the same level. As you notice on the lower left hand side there is a navigation pane that introduces all the modules. If I click on the home you can see the row center will appear on your right hand side shortly. And every single one of these modules or buttons, as you notice, there are actually a module that is available within Dynamics AX. Some of them are part of finance, such as payable, receivable, general ledger, and budgeting, uh, as well as cost accounting and fixed asset, and cash and bank management. And the rest of them are part of supply chain or perhaps other specific industry section. As you see, row center on the right hand side now has appeared. Uh, the row center concept is basically showing the profile of the enterprise portal depending on the role of the user they can actually see a specific segments of the company's data the way that it makes sense to them as you notice here i've logged on as a specific user such as an administrator an administrator has already associated itself with a particular role later on in a few minutes you actually see how we can go about and view other roles but as you can tell these are basically the modules you could also view the modules from the breadcrumb by looking at the menu as you see from home to the system administration these are all the available buttons and modules that you could also see from the lower section right here now just for information there are so many different legal entities already available part of this demo data depending on what image you're going to work with in future, you might see a different sets of data. If you install uh, AX for the first time, you might not even see any of these. You only see the DAT, which is being offered part of the installation, and then you have to actually add more legal entities. First, I'd like to explain the Contoso Entertainment System a, a little bit because you're going to actually work with it and add more companies to this. Consider a Contoso Entertainment System as a uh, industry that creates goods and they are operating in different in countries. For example, Brazil, Germany, as well as uh, Japan and United States, let's say. And the way that the demo data has been set up and the case studies are designed, we are mostly working with two different companies. We are working with the GLMF, which is the Contoso entertainment system and is a global company that overlooks other regions or other subsidiaries and we also work with Contoso Entertainment System USA. So as you see by default the USMF has already been associated with this end user. Now how these settings can be changed? If I switch to the system administration you notice that there are different areas within this module. First, let's get a quick overview as far as these places. You notice that there are basically different areas. Let me actually clasp them all and then explain them one by one very briefly. And then later you notice that all of these areas are mostly common between the rest of the modules. The common area is usually the place that either an end user or a main person who is responsible for that module is 
basically using this section. As you notice, there are a bunch of users that have already been imported from an Active Directory. These are the users already available. I've already logged on as an administrator, and as you notice here, there's one field called company. That's why when you log on as an administrator, automatically it logs you on to the USMF. So as you see, administrator and USMF, uh, these two are linked together. So by the time I launched AX, USMF was selected for me. Another section that I need to look at is the profile. If I open up the profile, as you notice, it shows all available profiles that are listed within this uh, specific installation. And as you see, there is a profile called CEO. If I click on the CEO and look at the users, you notice that the admin or administrator is already assigned to this profile. That's why I was viewing the CEO profile. There are so many other profiles as well. In case you would like to check them, you could actually select any of them. For the sake of discussion, if I select employee and click view role center, automatically launches Microsoft Internet Explorer and shows employee services, which is basically the main portal for employees for internal uh, activities, such as reporting their expenses perhaps, placing an order internally, and other environment that we are discussing it mostly in supply chain training. But if I minimize this for a second and choose another role, such as CFO, and click on a view role center, you automatically see a completely different view and look available to basically that individual that is a member of this profile. You see this is a chief financial officer role which has a completely different segments available. So these are the roles that are available and being shared between Enterprise Portal, which is a light version or thin client of Dynamics AX, and uh, basically Dynamics AX thick client or Windows-based client, which will be available on the home. So while I'm waiting for this to launch, I switch back to Dynamics AX, click back on home. You see that this is a CEO role and is already available on the role center due to the profile mapping to administrator. That's why I can see it. So switching back to the chief financial officer, you see it's a completely different view and look. Just to prove the concept, once again, if I switch back to the home, do you see this?